Hey, beautiful people. How are you today? Good, I hope. Welcome to another video. I hope everything in your life is going well, and I hope you're ready to grow with me. My name's Sage. I'm a growth coach, and we're going to talk about a really good way to level up and to grow by getting better at receiving constructive feedback. So we can really realize that in our lives, things are going to get tough and we're going to give, be given opportunities to grow out of these tough times provided by people in our life that care enough to be present with us and to actually sit down and have a conversation with us on how we can grow. And that's what constructive feedback is. Now, you may have heard the term constructive criticism. And that doesn't, that term doesn't hurt my feelings. Um, you might, some of you may have a negative connotation with it. Uh, and more people use constructive feedback now. But basically, you are sitting down and you are kind of breaking down somebody's per performance on something and you're critiquing it so, and giving them feedback so they can construct or build um, a path to growth in that area. And if somebody takes the time to sit down with you and be present like that, that's really should be viewed as a gift because the world is so hustle bustle these days that we are running around all the time, um, you know, shooting texts, messaging on our phones and we forget to just really sit down and look in somebody's eyes and say, I see you and these are your strengths and these are your areas of improvement. And holy cow, we should really be trying to surround ourselves with people that are willing to do that. Now, why do we often shrink back um, and shrink away from constructive feedback? Well, that really comes down to the fact that it's hard to be open and it's hard to be vulnerable. And um, a lot of people don't understand the word vulnerable. And if you haven't um, read any of Brene Brown stuff, it's time because she is really good at talking about being vulnerable. But you want to open yourself up for great growth. And if you're always closed off and protected and guarded, you're not going to get those growth opportunities. So that is why a lot of us shrink back is because, whoo. Somebody's talking to me about me and this is scary. But also constructive feedback is actually, um, for a lot of people, given in the term of, uh, in the form, excuse me, of harsh criticism. And that's not gonna inspire anybody to improve or grow. So we need to be careful that, you know, us as humans aren't sitting down to have a conversation with somebody when we're at our, like our wits end, because then that's when you're doing constructive criticism and you're just chomping on people on how they're doing. And all that's going to do is make people shrink back and put up a defense wall and there's going to be no growth that happens there. So a lot of it comes down to choice. You have to choose to sit down and be present with people and have those kind of conversations when you're calm and cool and collected and centered and you're speaking from your heart, then that information can be well received. So basically, a couple quick quotes. Feedback, when given well, should not alienate the receiver of the feedback, but should motivate them to perform better. Another quote, criticism may not be agreeable, but it is necessary. It fulfills the same function as pain in the human body. It calls attention to an unhealthy state of things, okay? And I've been teaching for a lot of years that pain is an indicator and we need to stop seeing it in such a negative connotation. Um, and that's a red light that pops up for us like, hey, something's not right here, okay? And Winston Churchill with that quote is, is indicating that to us. It's just like when your check oil light goes on in your dashboard, that's the same thing for us as um, pain. Unfortunately, we can't like just peel open a spot on our arm and be like, oh, my um, check hydration light is on. I wish that were the case. 
but instead we have to listen to things like illness and pain to make our recovery on, on things. Now, questions to ask yourself, when was the last time somebody gave you constructive feedback? Did it help? Was it delivered well? And when was the last time you gave somebody constructive feedback? Did it help? Was it delivered well? Was it received well? You might want to ask those questions of yourself before you, um, you, you know, level up your game with this constructive feedback. <clears throat> now, here's three ways to become more open and receptive to feedback. So first off, you got to get better at seeing the whole big picture. When we're living our lives and, and things get stressful, guess what we do? Instead of seeing the whole picture, we start to just do this. And then pretty soon we're looking through this and we're just going down this narrow tunnel. And we can't see, you know, the whole big picture. And the whole big picture might provide us a growth opportunity. Um, because we might be looking from such a limited view that we're missing the growth here. There also might be another perspective. Because, hold your hats, folks. Not everything you believe is correct, okay? Um, we have to be open to that as humans. Like, oh my God, maybe this thing I've believed from 20, for 20 years is absolutely false, okay? And maybe the universe is trying to tell you it's time to increase your knowledge, right? And maybe the universe has more in store for you. So you gotta see the big picture, okay? So here's number two. Have grace, that's how you can be more open. We're, we're just all doing the best we can until we learn and know better. And even if you're not ready for that constructive feedback at that very minute, and you can only really receive things when you're ready, okay? If you're not ready at that minute, well, just plant a little seed in the back of your mind and, and have gratitude that somebody actually took time out of your day, their day to sit down with you and have this conversation. Because most people are unwilling to do that. So surround yourself with people that are because then you're all going to grow together. And one of my favorite words on these videos, it's also important to have boundaries. Okay. Um, there's a great, great quote out there that says something to the effect of don't take criticism from somebody you wouldn't take advice from. Okay. If somebody wants to sit down with you and have some constructive feedback and you think they're coming from a place of anger or jealousy or whatever the negative emotion is, then just sit there, nod your head, say thanks for your time, walk away and shake off that negative energy. Ugh, get it out of there. Okay. Have boundaries or don't answer the phone. Don't answer the text. You have a right to do that. You have a right to put those boundaries down. So have some grace but with some firm boundaries. All right, third way to be more receptive and open to feedback is to absolutely show gratitude. Gratitude is so extremely powerful in all contexts, but this is a big one. Like I said earlier, if somebody is willing to take time out of their day, instead of just check out in front of their phone or be busy with something else in 10 directions, then thank them for that. Okay, how many times could you have helped somebody grow and you didn't sit down and do it? So, you know, be very grateful when somebody does. Um, and like I said, you, you don't even have to be in line with the feedback at that moment, but maybe you will be six weeks from now. You don't know. Now, I think I'm going to have to put a little asterisk here on our three ways. We've already talked about see the big picture, have grace, show gratitude. But with all of that, you have to also take action. So we kind of have a fourth in here, okay? If somebody gives you the great feedback, then actually go do something that shows that you heard them, okay? And um, show them that you heard them, okay? And that speaks, action speaks more volume than, oh yeah, I'll take care of that, I'll do a better job at that. Yep, 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 okay? Go do it. And then come back and let's talk about it, right? So keep that in mind. All right, see the big picture, have some grace, show some gratitude. And the asterisk to it all is you got to take some action. So circling around on the value of constructive feedback. Remember, some of the best entrepreneurs in the world 
Um, I've read tons of articles on how they really surround themselves with people that question them and contradict them um, and really try and educate them of new ways of thinking and doing things because we learn from things different than us, not from always hearing the same little thing. And I think that's how a lot of celebrities crash as they build this circle around them with a bunch of yes people. Um, don't get me wrong, it's nice to have people that align with you. But if you're only surrounding yourself with yes people and nobody's ever actually telling you how you can improve, how are you gonna get better? Thanks for growing with me today. You can find me on Facebook and on Instagram and on my website and a new channel on YouTube. So make sure you show up and continue to grow with me. Thanks guys.